and it's not about anyone in particular, but sometimes I feel in the superintendency position, we can lose focus on the teaching and learning. And so we're, right. we're, we're saying stuff, but it doesn't, we don't really understand what goes on in the classrooms every single day. So how have you like found that balance? Because I, 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 I noticed you did that very, very well to really kind of understand and empathize and be able to work with your teachers. And when I say empathize, it doesn't actually mean that, you know, every facet of their job in the moment <laughs> to the day, but you still put them in a position where they can be successful. So how, how do you find that balance? Yeah. So, um, and, and even beyond teachers and teaching and learning, I, I still think it, the number one priority is the student. So no matter what role I'm in, I don't want to be disconnected from kids. Right. So every, every week I make it a priority to get in classroom. So, so far this year, I'm at 182 classroom visits. I've got a, a, a chart on my board here in my office and I, I make little notations. What, what buildings, what classrooms I go into. And my goal this year is 800 classroom visits. I want to get into classrooms because I don't feel like I can make any decision that's good for kids if I don't know how kids are learning in the classrooms. So I, I go in it's, and I stay in my lane. I don't do walkthroughs. I that's, that's not my lane. I just want to walk in and see what's happening. You know, I'm not a curriculum director anymore. I'm not a principal. That That's not what I'm in the room. I'm just in the room to get the vibe to see if the level of rigor is where I truly believe it needs to be for all kids. And then, and then I, and also that opens the door for me to have conversations with teachers, not about teaching at all. It's how you doing today? Um, I, oh my gosh, I just, I love what I just saw. Um, you know, it is nothing that I'm going to, you know, write up an evaluation. It's just not what I do. But then at the end of the week, I put out what's called a superintendent shout out. And I share every good teaching and learning opportunity that I saw for the week. Mm -hmm. And that way, someone at our high school can see what's going on. They've got a lens to what's happening in kindergarten. So there's no more of that. Well, they never learned that there or they, you know, yes, right. Kids are learning all across the district and I'm going to stay connected with that. That's my, I just have made that my priority. And then I, I also don't ignore what's happening politically as a superintendent. I can't. So if reading is, is what's on the mind of every Kansas legislature, then I need to make sure as, as a superintendent that my curriculum folks have what they need to ensure that we're on track with what the state wants for right. those initiatives. So um, it, it is, it's truly finding a balance, but also prioritizing. I mean, I just, I set myself up for, I try to do an hour a day in a building. That's my goal. You know, so like we were talking about running before and how you and I both track like what we're going to do every day. I'm like, Oh, you got that from running. You're like, uh, for sure. Totally. Yeah. Totally. That's cause that's like how I train. Like I just, I make yes. sure I write everything down. And so I just, that's the first time I'm like, Oh, she got that from running. So <laughs> oh, for that's, sure. Just, that's awesome. The, uh, um, the, one of the things I've been saying forever is, and I, so this is what I appreciate about you. Cause I knew, I didn't, I didn't know your answer, but I knew it. Do you know what I mean? I knew yeah. that's what you'd say is that don't make decisions for classroom. If you make decisions for classrooms, you have to be in the classrooms. Right. And that is something really, really important to me. And one of the conversations I've had with people over the years, they'll, you know, you'll see someone who has really great leadership skills and would be in a fantastic administrator, whether it's a principal, superintendent, whatever. And I'll say like, Hey, have you thought about this direction? And one of the things they say and I hear it all the time is why well, I, I like, I don't want to do that stuff. Like I really like being around kids. I'm like, you can be around kids. Like that's yeah. where are you getting the idea that you can't be around kids? Because right. a lot of times they see kind of what I was talking about. It's all about the politics. It's not about actually being in the classrooms. And there's a joke I make, and I'm sure you'll, you'll understand it, but it doesn't seem like you do it about the superintendent entourage where we bring in the board members and we all like crouch down and all that stuff. <laughs> and people, you know, it's, it's feels very fake and people act a certain way because they think like I'm, I'm on watch, you know, for these few minutes that everyone's pretending that they really know what's going on in the classrooms. And I can really tell a lot about a, a superintendent, a principal is when they walk into the classroom, does anything, do people change their attitude? Right. And if you're, and if you're in it all the time, I guarantee you when you start, like when you started doing that. People are probably like terrified, yes. right? But yes. then now it's just like, oh yeah, 
Yeah, it's second nature. It's, it's not a big deal at all. 